Welcome to the Coffee Cup Visual Site Designer tutorial number 7A. Now we had left off with our contact form. We had changed our text to bold italic and we had added our CAPTCHA box and we'd gotten rid of the boxes. So now what do we do? Well, we need to configure our settings, form settings, but we can come up here to the right and click this icon. But I have found that probably the most simple and easiest way to do that is just come up here to save click that and it's gonna say well okay but we need somewhere to send this to once somebody fills it out so where do you want us to send it and so do they want to enter this do you want to enter this before we save this and yes I do so I'm going to pause this and then once I enter my web uh, my email address then I just would click OK so I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so now this has come up and I'm going to save it. And yes, I've saved it several times before. But now we have a um, window that's come up. And we have two boxes here of information. Now on your left-hand side, you'll see that there are eight um, files that you need to upload. Now before you do that, uh, I'm assuming that you have set up your FTP on your editor, your remote FTP. But before you do that, you need to come over here to your right. And it's the HTML. It says copy and paste this code wherever you want this contact form to show up on your pages. Now you can put it on one page. You can put it on all of your pages. The choice is yours. But you'll need this code. Okay. So. Uh, if you're going to use it on more than one page, I would suggest perhaps putting it on a, a Word document and make it a file and remember what you say, uh, <laughs> save it as. And then that way you can just use it, call it up whenever you need it so that you can uh, just pop it into whatever page you want. Okay, so I'm going to hold my left mouse button down, drag, and I'm going to go Control C as in Charlie. And then, now like I said, you can put it on a Word, do uh, Word document thing, or a uh, notepad thing, or not. Uh, and then you are going to come over here, and you're going to connect with your FTP. So I will pause this and be right back while I do that. Okay, and so of course once you uh, connect with your server, you just upload your files there. Then this it goes away and this comes back. So now what we can do is we can actually exit out of close or exit or however you want to do that. Okay. So now we're back at our page where we were going to put this form. But uh, I always like to give my visitors some way to get around when they visit me. So after they fill out this form, I think I'm going to send them back to the index we're going to create a link and I'll hold, pause this. You don't need to <laughs> waste the time here. And then we just make sure that we've got our check mark and create link. And there we go. Now I want that actually, I want this centered within this space. So I'm going to come up here to object properties, center, and now I'm good to go. Okay, there we are. So now we're going to that code that we had pasted onto our document or copied. We're going to come over here on our left sidebar and it is about the sixth one down. It looks like a lightning bolt. And it's the coffee cup flash object. We're going to click that. This little thing comes up where it's okay. And we're going to click there and it's going to ask us, what do you want in there? Well, this is the file that I want. And I'm just going to double click it and it's right there. I'm going to drag it over. And then on um, the next one, I will show you the preview of this page. Thank you for watching.